Uh, we've got time for one last question, and this one is for Damien. Uh, this question asks, what sort of ethics frameworks do you recommend for use with tools and techniques like this? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, I think for us, you know, the start point is um, being really clear that um, we are centred on, you know, doing um, reputation enhancing work. You know, that's something which we care about um, very, very sort of dearly. Um, all of our work starts with, I guess, a sort of leadership review and uh, legal advice you know, right off the top. You know, who are we working for and what are we being asked to do? Um, and we always provide... Um, I guess a sort of red team uh, judgment check internally to make sure that um, we are we're confident and, and content ready to proceed um, and that we're doing stuff that's I guess in the spirit of, of what um, of what's at the core of the business you know that's really important um, I guess people will have heard of you know the daily mail test about whether you know what you're doing if it was reported in the daily mail um, would it be positive or negative i have a sort of slight variation on that which i found serves me well which is um you know can i explain it in simple terms and justify it to my three children um and i think if if i can do that then um then that's usually sort of sufficient really you know it's been able to sort of um confidently um sort of move forward and i think for all of us really with our backgrounds you know we've we've had careers which were founded on good judgment um, and if there are doubts about the type of work or what we've been asked to do, then really there is no doubt, you know, that that is the guide. Um, and in that instance, it's it's definitely a case of being very clear with the client and saying no. And we've had a number of examples of that. I mean, one that um, came up last week actually was something which we we turned down because we felt as though what we were being asked to do um, could be used to effectively sort of spy on an internal population for sort of political purposes. And um, obviously that's not something we wanna get involved with. So, um, so this is about, I think, um, sort of being very clear on uh, what sort of business you are, what sort of people you are, and sort of how you want to do business, frankly. Um, and as a sort of side note, that advisory work on ethical frameworks is, um, is a sort of, um, a service we have delivered actually in, in the past because um, because it is, is I say it is something which is really important to us and you know you have to have a strong moral compass to work in this space and um, particularly with um, open source technologies and trade craft and sort of what's possible really but we have found that um, over the long term clients value that um, that honesty and the value that they get from us by being um, absolutely straight down the line and unequivocal about um, about what we're prepared to do, because um, you know clients are looking to us, you know, back to one of my original points, to mitigate risk. And if if we um, don't play with a, with a straight bat and are honest with them and show integrity around our um, our trade craft and techniques, then all we are doing is serving to put more risk into the client space, um, which is obviously not good at all. So. Um, so yeah, so it's central to our business. Um, hopefully that answers the question.